Hello there and welcome on Ticking Watch. In today's video, a little bit more complicated mechanism Mercedes diesel engine. And nowadays, diesel engines are in general complicated machines, and this one is no exception. I have a problem here with this sensor, it is a fuel temperature sensor. To replace it is very easy, so let's start. These tools I will use today, not too many. To remove the engine cover, I need to remove six Torx screws. And here we have the fuel temperature sensor, outside temperature. First thing, I need to unplug this connector and what I will do first, I will measure the resistance of the fuel sensor that is already inside. We have 5.88 kilo ohms. And here is the new one and the resistance of the new one. Let's remember we have about 3 degrees Celsius. 6.55 kilo ohms so it's over 10% difference I don't know if this is still in tolerance you have to go to store diagnosis, diagnosis and maybe check it but the fuel temperature sensor cost you about 10 bucks so I think to replace it is not a bad thing so let's unscrew it I'm using here French 19 and here because it's on the other side of the fuel sensor it's diesel fuel not to make dirty the cables here uh, here is a aluminium gasket it's quite connected to the to the engine block to the fuel pump actually Okay, and here we have it, that's the new one, let's screw it by, as you see it's, it's very simple, <laughs> no rocket science here and no special equipment here, so if you have the error code, it's 0183 or 0181. That's the old one. Actually, it doesn't look bad. Hmm. Doesn't look bad. Maybe here is a wiring problem. Therefore, I'm getting here the code. Uh, wrench 19 or spanner 19. I don't know what is the right word here. Maybe some native English speaker will say. Uh, will give some comment about the right word is it a spanner or a wrench or maybe this is a wrench i know i found two words in internet in polish language we use only one key actually <laughs> okay i know what is the torque here but you have to make it uh, with some sense of power because everything here is aluminium Okay, I think that's enough. The fuel temperature sensor is replaced. Let's connect it. And actually we are finished. It took me about, I don't know, with preparation maybe 20 minutes. Something like that. The video is very short. Only 4 minutes. So I hope I could help you. But this video sound here is from the telephone, so it isn't the best. Anyway, I hope to see the result in a fuel consumption. For now, stay healthy and I hope to see you again in my next video. Take care, bye bye.